everyone so in today's video I'm kind of doing a review it's more of a first impressions on an art carrying bag called the Etcher Art Satchel it's a carrying case for artists for taking all your art supplies on the go and they also have a pencil case you can kind of see them creeping back there <laughs> and I thought it was an amazing product and I thought you guys might be interested in it it's not a sponsored video I just thought it would be something you're interested in we gotta rewind back to a couple years ago when I actually got this which was the first version of their art satchel except this is back when they were called Nomad they've since changed their name to Etcher and I've had this for a while now and I thought you know I don't go out and about sketching very much but maybe this will encourage me to get out of the house more to draw or I could just bring it when I travel because I do travel quite a bit and so I got this and I was pretty excited about it and it is super super nice but it kind of fell flat in my mind and I was gonna do a review video on this but because I really didn't like it much I didn't want to make a video of me essentially bashing it so I didn't make a video at all <laughs> they had a Kickstarter for this but I think I got mine after the Kickstarter they were taking pre-orders on their website and that's when I bought this one but it's this art satchel it opens up you can put art stuff in it it had these little straps you could weave stuff in there either your sketchbooks or supplies both and then there's a separate pouch that opens where there's more of these underneath you could flip it over you could wear it over your shoulder so that it sits right here and you could draw i just thought that was such a novel idea i was so sold i got this thing but it fell a little flat for me because i felt like for the size it was one too heavy but also there's almost no room to put stuff inside because you can see the zippers are actually lower than these inserts and so you can hardly fit anything in there and to me that was the biggest disappointment and so I never did use this much and I never made the video on it but they've come out with a second version a new and very much improved version which is right there now this thing's not actually available to purchase yet they were releasing some prototypes and so mine's actually one of the prototypes but they're launching a Kickstarter soon I'll just have stuff linked below again it's not sponsored but just I'll put all their info below because I know people will be curious about it and it's always more handy when you have actual links. So this is an unexpected surprise. I've been signed up for their promotional emails since I got the original bag and they didn't mention this until just recently and so I got super excited because I would probably bring this around town more than I'd bring the big one and use the big one mostly for when I travel but Yes, I'm very excited about this. So this is pretty much a pencil case or just small bag in general. It has this strap you can put on it and you can detach it. So this material is actually weatherproof so it can keep your stuff nice and dry. You have a pouch on the front. You could put in your phone, a little sketchbook, whatever you want. There are some straps so you can strap it to things including the main satchel which I'll show later. Uh, the zippers, they said they're actually going to change them. This is just what they look like on the prototype, but on the final version, they will look different. It opens up. Oh, I forgot I actually still had stuff in here. I was going to show it empty first. Ha! Don't look at that. How embarrassing. You saw my pencil. <laughs> There's a pouch on either side that's long. It goes all the way to the bottom, and it's nice and stretchy. You can really get your hand in there and fit longer items in there. There's a little key ring holder in case you wanted to attach anything to a keychain or just clip your keys inside of here if you're using this also as your wallet when you're out and about. There are these little bungee straps to put all your different art supplies in here. There's a big strap at the bottom, a smaller one in the front. These little pouches that can just hold the tips of your pencils or you can put other things in there. And it's meant to expand a little bit so it can actually, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here and still be able to zip it up. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this, but this is just the little companion to the main item. I feel like this is an infomercial. And here we have the Etcher Art Satchel. So this is just meant to be a case for anyone who does anything creative. Of course, other people can use it too, but it was designed with artists and creatives in mind. So we'll do a little turn around. You can see it looks like your typical messenger bag, although it also has backpack straps. Let's actually show this first because you could unbuckle these then unclip one of these bad boys then join these they buckle together and there's velcro sorry i'm just super excited about this thing <laughs> and then you could clip it to the other side and there you go now it's a messenger bag wow wow 
messenger bag format and backpack format. I love that. I love that so much. Especially if it's getting a little heavy, it's nice to wear it as a backpack. There's a tripod mount here, so you can attach it to a tripod and use it like an easel. I'll show that later. This is meant to just provide some cushioning against you when you're wearing it as a backpack or even as the messenger bag. And then this is actually loose here. You can attach this to your luggage handle if you're at an airport or something. There's a handle at the top here, and then there's also a handle on this side for the backpack mode. There's a zipper up front here where you can put in some stuff. Oh, I just love this bungee material that's in here. This stuff, oh, so nice. The front unclips like this and it's nice and easy to take it off, which I like. I'm so glad they put those and not the clips you have to squeeze like for the back part because this is just super handy because this is the part I'm gonna be opening all the time, right? So in here we have these little strappy things and this is just for clipping anything you want to it. This backpack is meant to be very modular and very customizable so you can hook almost anything you want onto these. There are a lot of products out there that are meant to fit little things of this size including this. See it has the straps so you could just hook them through. I'm only gonna do one side right now but yeah you can hook that through and have this attached right there. There are these straps here in case you want to run anything through this. This is actually designed to also just carry stuff in this configuration without using those straps and then you use these to clip right here and that works if you're using it like a messenger bag. If you're using it like a backpack whatever you have in there might slip out. So what you can actually do is loosen one of these straps and run it through here because these are hooks and then clip it to the bottom of the backpack so it holds whatever you have in there in place. That was one of those things that just blew my mind. I was like, what? It can do that? This is also grippy so that when you do have stuff in here, it's meant to grip it a little bit so it's less likely to slip out. So this is the main pouch of your bag and you can see it really does expand a lot. Like, look at this, look at that. You can just reach in and grab your stuff or you can unzip it just like that or both. On this side, there's a zippered net pouch, another little net pouch here, bunch of pouches for your stuff, and there's a little Velcro there in case you wanna keep smaller things secured. There's a pouch there, there's a pouch here, and then even behind here, there's another pouch. This is the perfect spot for slipping in a tablet or a laptop. Also, this piece right here is Velcroed. You can actually completely take it out. Whoa, look at that. And if you're wondering, why would you wanna rip that out? Well, the answer lies in the other side of the bag. Now, for the other side of the bag, you unzip it down here. And this is your drawing side, because this is not just meant to hold your art supplies, it's meant to be a little portable drawing workstation. So this might look a little confusing at first, but I'll explain all the pieces. Like I mentioned, this is meant to be super customizable. So this is all Velcro again, including this. Just like with the pencil case, there's the big strap in the back and then smaller straps in the front. These can be used to hold your art supplies or your sketchbooks. So there are actually two straps here, depending how strong of a hold you want. If you just put something under the first strap, it has less of a hold. If you need it really anchored down, you can put it under both. If I wanted to clip in a sketchbook, I would have to strap it down under these corners. You're gonna have to measure the first time you do this to see how far apart you need to put these. And then once they're in there, you can just pop your book in and out as needed. So just like that, my sketchbook is all strapped in. Then on this side, there is a big netted zipper pouch. And again, it's Velcro. You can rip this off. You can put this pouch on the other side of your bag. You could put it on this side or inside here. There are these doohickeys, which I'll show in a second. We can take this piece from earlier Slip it right in here if we want. Boom! Do whatever your little heart desires. Now, on this side we had these things. So this Velcro thing is meant to hold down books. Some books are gonna wanna lay really flat, especially if it's a thin sketchbook like this or one with a ring, but for some other ones, they kinda wanna bulge right here. And so what you can actually do is have these underneath. You can adjust the length. So yeah, stick those underneath. We'll tighten this a bit. And you can actually move this so it's out of the way. 
and that will hold your page down for you. Alternatively, you could use it just to hold other art supplies in the bag. You could have something, just anything under here, really. Then I have these little straps, and these are meant to hold the bag up in laptop mode, which holds it propped up like this. So just like that, holds it open. And I was told that these are actually not the final design for these straps, so that is another thing that's gonna be changed in the actual final version. There are also little holders right here. You could stick in a pencil, anything you want, really. And they also have a bunch of these hooks, not only for the laptop mode, but you can just clip stuff on here and hang things off of the bag. What's nice is these stitches right here act as guidelines so it can help you align stuff properly. One of the main selling points of this bag is that it's meant to be used as a portable workstation. So there's the easel configuration on the tripod, which I'll show you in a second, but there's also this. So instead of folding it shut, fold it the opposite way, like this. There's a clip here. Clip it over to this side, and then it looks like this. If your straps are hooked to opposite corners, you can then combine them in the middle, kind of like the messenger bag configuration, but instead of being on two sides on the same side of the bag, it's opposite corners. You're gonna have to loosen it. I have mine wound up pretty tight here because I don't like these being too dangly, but there's Velcro here to keep them nice and short and then you can have this thing be free if you want free strap so you can loosen it. I just realized I hooked these the wrong way because I'm left-handed. I swear I had that worked out. I made sure, I was like, okay, make sure this works. No, I did the wrong corners because you can do it whatever way you want depending if you're a lefty or not. So once your strap is on, put it over your head and you have yourself a little drawing platform. This is similar to what the original one did and to me that was just mind blowing. I, I loved that idea. So you can have your drawing space right here and then you can access your supplies on the back. You can fold the edge over if it's in your way. Then you can get right to the edges without the zipper being in the way. You can walk around, draw all the things. Oh, hi. Sir, would you like me to draw a caricature of you? I'm gonna pick your worst features and exaggerate them. Hope you don't mind. Now I'll show you how you can set it up on the tripod. So I've attached my little tripod plate to the back that just screws in like how you'd attach anything to your tripod. Then you clip it on. So on the tripod, you can have it configured like this where you can draw here, grab your art supplies from down here, or you could even angle it back a little bit. My tripod, as I've learned, the head is really crappy. It does not want to hang like this because the bag's too heavy, so it just falls down like that. But if you were using a better tripod, like the one that camera is sitting on, <laughs> it would work better. Or you can use the straps that I showed before to put this thing in laptop mode and have it sit up like this. And then you can draw here and have your tools here. You could even have some reference here, either a photo or something up on the screen on an iPad or on your phone, something like that to look at as reference. Because when you're drawing outside, you're not always drawing something that you physically see in the real world. Sometimes you just want to be outside and draw. And so it's nice to just have some reference up there. So now I'm going to take a bunch of my art crap and put it inside the bag to give you a better idea of the functionality. So here I have it in laptop mode. You could have this sitting on a table. You could have it hooked up to a tripod, whatever you want. And I decided to do a watercolor setup for this. I don't have a travel size watercolor kit, so this one's kind of big and takes up a lot of space. But I used one of these bungee cords to put it right here and just fits right in there. If you can figure out a configuration with a strong magnet, you could do that too if yours is metal like mine, but I don't have anything like that. And then I have a watercolor sketchbook in here that can just open up like that. I used a bungee on one side and then these on the corners. Then I have a piece of paper towel just bunched up on one end through this. And then I have water brushes. I have one through this type of hook. This one I just used the corner hook, although when I propped it up I realized it's kind of hitting the screen. I maybe should have moved the screen up a little bit, but I used one of those little hooks for that one. So this was to show one of the possible ways you could hook up watercolor supplies and how you can have the screen as reference. So now I have it configured for coloring with Copic markers and in my mind I pictured you're going somewhere where you can lay this flat either you're sitting on the ground at the beach or something you're gonna lay it out or you're at a table maybe you go to the library because you want to draw stuff from the books there somewhere where you would lay it flat like this now on this side this is really bulging so you're probably wondering how the heck do you close that if it's so bulging the way I would do it is I would rip this out and I would put it on this side because this pouch expands so much and then when I got to my location I would take it out 
and put it on this side. Alternatively, I could have just used the net and had all my Copics loose in here, but I wanted something a little more organized. So yeah, I have my inking pens here, the Copic markers. I have some cardstock right here. I have my Copic color chart. And then back here, I actually have a light box. It's super thin and light, so it fits right in there. Review incoming. Then in this zipper pouch, I have the cable and charger for the light box. So again, you'd have to be somewhere with power, like I was imagining a library or somewhere where you could plug in. Otherwise, skip the light box thing. Then on this side, I have a sketchbook and it's held in entirely with this thing and it's actually super secure. What I like about these things is you can just slip the sketchbook out and it's easier to take in and out compared to these little grippy things, even though I love these too. I'm just surprised at how much I love these as well. <laughs> I can access multiple pages while it's still anchored in there really well. I have an eraser in here, little piggy eraser. I don't actually use him. He's just there for moral support. My mechanical pencil, my white gel pen, a couple sketching pencils, some refill lead for my mechanical pencil. This I just stuck in here as a small item, like maybe I'm filming a video and I might need a spare battery, so that's in there. I have a pencil sharpener right here and then one of my small little pencils right there. You could pack a lot more stuff in here, but this is just what I would use if I had a Copic setup, so that's what I was thinking when I set this up. I detached that Copic section and stuck it in the front and look at how much more room there still is inside of here. There's so much space. If you had a set of Copics in its original case, like the big 72 set, you could just pop the entire thing in there. If you're the kind of person who keeps them in their original sets, you could just woof, slide it in, you're good to go. If you're a student, you can put textbooks in here. It's gonna get heavy if you put that many in there, but I'm just trying to show that there's so much space. If I wanted to film an art video on the go, there's plenty of room for that stuff. Any cables, chargers, cords, whatever. I don't even have this packed very full. There's so much more room for other stuff. A little tripod, a camera. I actually have my GoPro in there and a microphone and recorder that I'm actually using right now, so that's why it's hanging out of here. <laughs> but there's just so much that you could bring with you. Next, I thought I would take my art satchel out and about just to see how it performs in the real world and how convenient it actually is. So one of the things I quickly realized is that I like using it as a backpack a lot more than I like using it as a messenger bag, and the reason is that it feels so much lighter as a backpack. The straps are so thick and wide, and so they're very cushiony on your shoulders. It doesn't feel heavy at all. But when I switched it to be a messenger bag, it was already starting to annoy me because it's all on one shoulder. I know some people prefer that, but I'm a wimp. I want it in the backpack form. One way I liked using this was just sitting cross-legged and having it open in my lap like a book without using the straps in any way because then I could see my art supplies on one side and then draw on the other side. Sitting at a bench, it's nice to have the strap on so that it doesn't slide off your legs, but when I was sitting on the ground, it was nice to just set it in my lap without the strap and it was being propped up at an angle because I kept it folded in half. I really liked it that way too. I felt like that was a nice angle and a nice height. And then of course, drawing standing up is pretty fun. It makes me wanna go, hot dogs, get you hot dogs or something. I feel like I have a tray where I'm selling stuff, but it's just so handy. It's just cool. I don't know, I like it. I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty fancy walking around the park with my cool bag. This second version of the bag blows the first one out of the water. There's so much more room and there's so much more functionality as well. It's so customizable. It's really, really high quality. The materials are great. I'm not sure of the pricing at this point, but it's probably not gonna be cheap because it has a lot of components and it's really high quality. Quality comes at a price, and when it comes to bags like backpacks and purses, if it's a quality item, it's not going to be cheap. So do I recommend this thing? Heck yes, it is amazing. I'm super excited and I'll leave links below if you wanna find out more information about it. Once the Kickstarter is up, I'll make sure to have a link to that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. What do you want?
You're feisty.